you are really every bit as exploitable as you are as you make the good at oppressing other uh, exploitable options. For sure. Definition of a glass cannon. It is a feast or famine character. <laughs> It's just props to props to players, you know, like pancakes or like who is it light out there yeah, that plays? Like, yeah. It, you you have to be able to like contain your own like ability and, and understand like the flow of the game to do it. Because if you if you're a kind of player who takes like disadvantage poorly, you cannot play characters oh, like that. Yeah. You need someone like like deep. Man. You need something heavy or something that can recover all. You want like a rob. You want a DDB. You want something that can like take hits and make comebacks. Let's get it. Fast follower fight. Three, should, two, be, should be great. One, go! Is this a button? This is a button check? Oh, looks like a control knight. Because, yeah. yeah, they're leaning in on the player games. Might be a Well, that could just thing. be part of the bet. Skip to your opponent, hey, Matt. Yep. I mean, I talked in his match. <laughs> I'll just need to listen. Yes. So Fox is the faster follower confirmed. <laughs> Like. Super interested to see how this goes. Definitely. I've, I've been told that me brawlers somewhere in between Fox and Mario. That's how they're usually described. I think that's. I think that's around like a fair assumption, like a fair comparison, but, because you don't have the movement speed of Fox, uh -huh. but you've got like the oppressive buttons and fast falling, and then you've got some moves that just explode people. Like, straight up, me Brawler has, like, the Mario, I can kill you off of, like, ladder combos. Oh, jeez. You have true confirms on platforms punch. into the Piston Punch that kill at, like, That's 60. some Smash 4 Mario, so. It is scary. That's cool. It also shows a bit of, like, how the players who've played Brawler have kind of grown with it, because at launch, Brawler was considered the worst me. Oh, really? Yep. Wow. You didn't have as reliable of confirms as you did in 4, so like everyone, they said, oh, I guess they suck. Who's that now? Uh, is, what would you say? Swordsman of the Leagues? I think so. Uh, Gunner's got really good zoning tools. He does. Some good, of them are pretty strong. And some pretty solid buttons. Is that upper? Sword Fighter has like two or three good sword levels. The rest are fairly mediocre and kind of relies on projectile set play to really get things done. Yeah. Which I is it. awkward. Doable, but hard. Doable, but hard, yeah. So going in, let's get this. Swag. Then again, pop the controls this time. One, go! That's what oh. Suplex is for. Oh, and look at that. It sets up right to the flat. Romeo's kind of running really well with this, like, fast color offense. Yeah, but it's kind of hard because these characters, look at that. Like, they get one single read and they're up 30, 40, so. Exactly. The fast rolling this also messes up some of these combos that really low percent, like this kind of restance. Right. Great. This percent, now that none of that's going to get messed up now. Now you're going to get exactly what you want. That was great. Love the movement. Oh, wait. Interesting. No. Gets the cross up. That F smash will kill you absurdly early, but it is very committed. Very much like a, what would you say, Fox and F smash? Yeah, it's pretty much a, like a pretty great equivalent to that, I think. Mean. You need a little bit of speed, but you have way more power. It will kill you at like 40. When he's not afraid to go for it. That wasn't that great of a punish of it, to be honest. The back throw. <laughs> no, not at all. Wow, just beating that out. That's an air in case he went a little high, but you know. So going in, we'll see if Vermeil gets a little more confident. Doesn't go off stage, try to, try to, he's gonna cover that. Really good anti air there. Saw him pass the run onto him. Trying to get the Fox Is it risky? Like, what's the landing time look like? Uh, I think it's not that good. Like, I think it, I'm pretty, I don't know the number off the top of my head, but I'm assuming it's fairly much. Right. Suplex, oh, though, that, is that one isn't. That's impressive, I like that. It's a very good burst top. He's just a move stop, so I see, like, mixed up, yeah. came on stage. I want to see bigger punishes on these up smashes, because those are like minus 30 something. You can turn around and charge on up smash are a little serious? bit. Yeah, Fox up smash is like minus 36. Jan and up smash is safer. So the punish just says have one. Gonna get that back here. So he's taking 76 percent. This is this the, the matchup. This volatile stocks will fly. So it's going to be very important on how you watch that because taking that stock that late, you are now in a place where Romeo's only got several options that kill you. Right. Ooh, I that the trump. He goes for that. That's impressive. Punish. So consistent. You can't really get a whole lot even after missing it. That was 
gonna take center, get that up smash. Definitely. Smart positioning, glad to go for center. Hey, Hicks did have a bit of momentum there for a moment. Let's see if he's able to continue that. Oh, yeah. oh, not letting back on, unfortunate SD. Yep. That could be big in, in, in a best of three set like this. Exactly. Win. This is a big deal. Romeo played that pretty dang well. Pancakes, though, shows, like, you don't place as far as you do if you don't know how to adapt to players and play styles. For sure. So I think Pancakes is going to make a note of, okay, certain confirms were working, certain confirms weren't. Certain things could stop me, certain things could. And make slight changes in what he was going for. Uh, it was pretty even overall. Definitely. I'm not sure if I like this as a counter pick against the brawler with pistol punch. Very true. He must feel comfortable with that pipe like to, to, you know, to risk it. Or he might just knock it. Yeah, it could be the other way. We're seeing a little bit of that platform stuff. He's kind of using his positioning and setting himself up. So right. I think it's a comfort zone too. Going in, he may need to play a little bit more passive too. Just in general, he's getting stuffed a lot by Romeo. Yeah, right now he's kind of walling out back ears and kind of like trying to occupy just outside his like first zone. That's exactly what he should do. Great game to play. Good adaptation. Oh, that's scary. Good on pancakes for not committing to a defense option because that's exactly what brawlers are looking for if they've got that OP. Exactly. Great move for both players. Good bait there. This is insane. They're, they're, their jumps, their falls, their walks are just on point. Right now. A lot of really good decision making. For sure. And now he's playing really committal. I want that early stock. Neither player yielding the stock until there. Right there, Romeo's the one. That's going to be a big part of just this matchup is pulling, like, it's knowing when to pull the trigger, because if you do it too early or at the wrong spot, you will die for it. But if you do it right, that's how you win the matchup. Exactly. So, like, those split-second decisions under pressure, that's a big part of this. Like, the fastball, he was able to get out of that second there. Exactly. So, let's we'll see who cracks first. Ooh, what's a rip. Wow. Oh, give you a it almost reminds me of just like a Luigi of the Shield. It's very similar. Not as strong, though. Yeah. It's a Mario of the Shield that kills. Wow. From ground. That's crazy. I think it's the same raid data. I think it's like frame four. That's insane. <laughs> he has not been taking this. Pancakes has gotten every single one of those he's got. Yeah. Great oh. aggressive call out all the way up there. I wonder if that was conditioned earlier. He kept punishing the, uh, the IN. Yeah. I would whip up here. He punched the break that kind of will later on. Yeah. I like where it puts the opponent too. Counter pick has worked really well in Pancake's favor. Like, he's making a lot of advantage out of, like, using the platforms to let himself jump up higher, and he's making a lot of uses of it to kind of mix up his movement. For sure. I think this has been a very good counter pick. Great shark, too. He hasn't really let Romilia use him to the same benefit. Definitely. Confirm. Barely makes it. Grab. And as I said that earlier, you start gets the tech right when he needs it. Yep. This is scary. Ooh. Oh, that smash. Yep, that could have been something big. <laughs> Scary because wow. of things like that. He's going for it. It will definitely kill. Even at 70, it will absolutely kill. For sure. That was great space. Who's gonna, this is scary because, again, who's going to commit? Because whoever gets their confirm or commits in the wrong way, they're both pushing to things. But Pancakes pulls the trigger just a little too late. Crazy set. Completely okay. well played there, though, by Romeo. Kind of keep cool and get momentum back right at the end when he needed it. Getting that tech when he needed it for when it mattered most on the last stock and getting everything else that mattered.